Right, so here's how to do SEO keyword research with AI. Just go to tryjournalist.com, go to your dashboard, then scroll all the way down here to keyword monitors uh, and click, I mean, you can click new monitor, but I'll show you a example right here. So this one right here, epicgardening.com, it's a site about gardening. They have a Shopify store, they sell gardening supplies. Um, put in your name, right, put your site, put your target country, the language, right, and we will take all this info plus your competitor's info and come up, not come up, but give you a list of keywords that have a low SEO difficulty, so in theory they are easier to rank for, as well as some decent search volumes. Now, you can then select the ones you want and produce content around them, and I can just show you here real quick how the content looks like, because I think it's important that I show you. If you want to use this tool to produce content as well with AI, if not, you can just use it for, for keyword research. Uh, but if you do want to use it for that, um, there's here's how the content that it produces look like looks like sorry just click this one right here so all this is done with AI even the images the interactive table of contents which you can click and go to the section um, the, all the structuring with the key takeaways the the internal links the external links the in article images uh, in article videos are relevant to not just the, the article itself but relevant to this sex, section sorry in which they're included in for example this section talks about uh, nail, nail clippers and grinders and the video is about how to grind dog nails with uh, the diamond uh, clippers or whatever right so it's relevant to the section in which it's, inclu it's included in. so more in article images. Sometimes it adds bullets, tables, and quotes when it makes sense. Of course, nothing. This is randomly randomly placed. More internal links, more external links, uh, more images, and down here an FAQ section and also a call to action to the site. So on all, autopilot, all this is done with that, and you can even click here to post to your site. Now I don't want to bore you with more of this. I want to show you the actual keyword research part of it. Uh, but yeah, so you just add your site, add your, add your um, language and target the country, and you come up with these keywords. Now for, with these keywords, what you want to do, right? The whole goal of SEO keyword research is to focus on buyer intent keywords. Now, what is this? Let me give you an example. So if I have, for example, a, an iPhone repair shop, right? People come to my shop to repair their iPhones. Now, there's two types of people. I, there's one type of people I want and one type I don't want. The type of people I want are the ones that are searching on Google for where to repair my iPhone or how much does it, is it cost to repair my iPhone 15? These are the people I want. The people I don't want, right, the people I do not want, are the people searching for uh, how to repair an iPhone. Because people searching for how, they want to do it themselves, right? While people searching for where or how much, they want to hire someone to do it for them, right? So these people and these keywords are buyer intent keywords. This one, not so much. Now, this is not to say that you shouldn't target these keywords and shouldn't produce content to write a rank around these keywords because some of these people actually might see it might take so much time and labor to actually uh, learn how to repair an iPhone. I'm just going to hire these guys that I found this blog post for. Right? The issue is that most people won't do it. So the conversion rate, right? the people that actually click and go to your site and actually repair their iPhone, the conversion rate is much higher in these types of people searching for transactional keywords. So buyer intent keywords like uh, where and how much is much higher than people searching for uh, how? Because again, people searching for how are are wanting someone to do it from them for for them. Sorry, want to do it themselves while these ones want someone to do it for them. So, reason why I, I might tell you this is because you want to take a look at these keywords and find the ones that you should start betting first, which are the buyer intent keywords. For example, this one right here, gardening one one PDF. Right. This, by the way, is a, like I said, a site about gardening. Right. They sell gardening supplies. This is a great buyer intent keyword to target. Why? Because Firstly, gardening 101 means that these people are newbies. They are just starting out with gardening, right? Gardening 101, so we have the, the client profile here, beginners, right? PDF means that these guys are beginners and they want to learn and they want to read in specific a PDF, right? So you have their intent, right? These are beginners. They want to learn and read, right? Beginners, they want to learn and read about gardening. So if you, for example, would produce content for this keyword, you could, for example, actually make it a proper PDF with uh, 50 pages, right? That has all the info they, they want to consume, right? Maybe you include some links to your products in there. Maybe include some links to other guides, right? And But what you need to do, or what I would do in this case, is for people to access this PDF, they would need to first give you their email. You do an email capture box right here, and they give you their email, right? And then you can give them, send them a PDF, maybe send them an email uh, a couple of days later with some more tips, maybe another email there a couple of days later with more tips, and then a third email with, listen, you've learned all this, sorry, that's an email sign. You learn all this beginner stuff, 
if you're ready to get started, the first thing you need to do is to buy this uh, gardening kit, right? With a, a shovel, with some seeds, with some whatever, right? You, you know better than this if you're in the industry, right? Um, so again, this is a great keyword to target and nurture people that are beginners, right? You know the exact type of client that they are. They're beginners, so you want to pr promote beginner-friendly products, right? They want to learn and want to read, right? And this is a perfect example of how you can transform keywords and build this customer journey, right? Uh, here's another one. This one is, of course, buyer intent, vegetable garden kits, right? This is someone that wants to buy a kit. Uh, for example, let's see here. This is another one, buyer intent keyword. Uh, this, maybe, maybe not. We'll have to test it out. Um, let's see here. Uh, winter flowers, California. This might not so much, right? Some of them, of course, overlap, but you you will know exactly which ones are a hundred percent buyer intent and which ones are a hundred percent not buyer intent, right? And so this tool helps you do it. It's uh, essentially free, basically, and you can test it out for any niche, any language, by the way. Uh, if, you're, if you're targeting international markets like Portugal, France, I mean, any country in Europe, Asia, the Americas, you can you can use this tool for that, uh, which is pretty cool. And if you want to take this a step further and produce content with the keywords you find, just go here to generate articles, right? Click keyword mode, paste your keywords here, select language, and just click generate, right? Or just use the advanced mode, which is quite quite powerful because you can add uh, automatic videos to the to this uh, the the articles, you can even add AI images, you can add external linking automatically, uh, internal linking, you can choose the length of the article, add all this, add your call to action, key takeaways, conclusion FAQs, you can automate the headings, you can do a, a lot of stuff here, even change the creativity levels, uh, tone of voice, point of view, right? You can do all this, pretty cool, uh, with this tool. But yeah, that's essentially the video. Before I go, I do want to show you again, more or less how these articles look like. I do have here ones for the carting niche, so if I just click... I'll show you all this. This one looks like. Uh, actually, let me show you one where I use a realistic image because you can change how the images look like uh, by leveraging the prompts that AI gives you. So this one, I mean, hyper realistic image. This is about uh, tips for driving your car as a beginner. Has the, all the sections here, the bullets, the quotes, uh, more in article images on here. Actually, this one is not one of the best ones that I've generated in the past because you can you can tweak the prompts and make them look a bit better. Uh, but yeah, these articles are all, look at look at this image, right? This looks 100% realistic. All this done with that, and you can just click here to post your integration. By the way, your integration can be anything you want, right? It can be your WordPress site, Shopify site, or Ghost, Wix, Webflow, or even Blogger site, or even if you want, you can connect, you connect your Zapier or an external API. So yeah, that's it. That's a part of this video. For keyword research, just sign in. Don't need to click any of the other stuff. Just go here, keyword monitors, and, and set this up. Um, actually, I mean, might as well mention this. If you do set up an auto blog right here, Right, you can have it so Journalist AI is connected with your site, right? And it produces, generates, and automatically publishes content to your site on autopilot, right? You can select the frequency as well. You can select how many articles you want to produce every single uh, month, weekday, or, or 12 or 6 hours. You can produce, I mean, from 1 to 300 articles with the frequency you want, right? And it's, it's pretty cool. And again, every single article, right, you generate, it's going to look like the ones that I showed you, right? With a featured image, a interactive table of contents, proper article structuring, in-article images, in-article videos relevant to what the content is about, internal links, so links linking out to your pages on your site, so maybe some blog posts on your site, your homepage, uh, your contacts page, uh, your testimonials page, external links, so linking out to authoritative sources in your niche, bullets, quotes, tables, and even a call to action on here automatically to your brand. That's it. I'll leave a link for this in the description. It's tryjournalist.com, and I'll leave it as well in the pinned comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.